Sure. It's basically to the best of our ability using government sources, EIA, USGS, stuff like that. What we have underneath our lands and waters, both in the United States, Canada, and to some extent Mexico, but their politics are so screwy there that it's hard to get good data out of Mexico. But the bottom line of that is we're the richest energy nation in the world, bar none. We have more, and President Trump says it all the time, calls it liquid gold. But we have more oil, gas, coal, methane hydrates, which is, you know, still not uh, technologically feasible or economically feasible. But we've got more hydrocarbon resources under our lands and waters than anybody else in the world. That includes Russia, Saudi Arabia, you name it. And when you combine it with Canada, we blow the world away in terms of our God-given resources. Yeah. And again, well, have folks go check it out. But I mean, it's not like, oh, hey, the current rates of consumption, we've got 32 weeks left of this stuff. I mean, it is just as far as the eye can see, like, like humans won't need to use carbon-based energy by the time that would run out. Yeah, my, my take on it is, is that you talked about the sort of the running out in our childhood and our, our younger adult years. The peak oil crowd, they've been, they're just been wrong. They're just wrong. Because in the history of us revising our inventory, it's never been revised downward. We've always found more oil. We've always found more natural gas, not just here, but all over the world. You keep here, you see stories about this find and that find, and now Guyana is potentially going to get into the game. And so theoretically, we won't need to switch off of these resources unless we choose to. And that, that I'll stick to that theory. I'm an unlimited oil theory guy. I don't think we're ever going to run out of these resources. Yeah. Okay, well, what... How do you want to tackle this? 